So Wayne Zielinski has done it again. I have been shrunk down to the size of a green army man, and I'm here in Andy's backyard for the opening of Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is the brand new land. There's two new rides. There's Toy Story Mania with a new queue and a return of a classic favorite animatronic, plus some food, merchandise. There's so much to explore back there. Let's go take a look. the big deals, yes. So yellow is a good means business color? Yeah, yellow and green are very complimentary colors for each other, so. Here's They're the good. thing, when we take a, an etch sketch he doesn't really show people that it's yellow. He has to make sure they see the signage to know that this is yeah, yeah. brown. Gotcha. Because people don't normally know what this color would mean, unless it was probably displayed. Would you like to uh, take an etch sketch right here? But yes, please. Sure. Let's tell what it is. Sorry. Let's do it. Alright, strike an action pose. All right, so here we are in front of Slinky Dog Dash. This is the big new addition for Toy Story Land. It's a huge roller coaster, but don't let the footprint size fool you. This is very family friendly. As you can see behind me, it's a 38 inch height requirement. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. So let's hop aboard. We are on our way, riding aboard Slinky Dog. Already there's the, uh, there's Rex's toy box there. And we're going right into it. Here we go. Get some great views of Toy Story Land from up here. Oh boy! Oh! oh. Uh. to the second launch and uh, this is very cool this is very unique we stop and we back up a little bit because we're winding up getting ready to launch I love that detail spinners are going here we go oh oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, here we go Whoa, 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 <laughs> yeah, and the big finale, got a friend in me, sing it Wheezy, yes you do, that is a fun ride, Slinky Dog Dash, a great ride for the family. I can't wait to bring my daughter on this one. Then me. Yeah. 
You've got a friend in me. All right, so here we are in front of Alien Swirling Saucers. Now, if you've been on Mater's Junkyard Jamboree at California Adventure, you'll know this ride already. It's the same kind of ride where you whip around, you go in in circles. It's a lot of fun. Oh, Green Army men are out here patrolling the area. I mean, of course, we're all the size of Green Army men. But I'm looking forward to going on this ride, Alien Swirling Saucers. You know, it's a long name to say. Maybe just abbreviate it to that. Um, no, Alien Swirling Saucers. Let's go. So Toy Story Mania has been a popular attraction here at Hollywood Studios for the past 10 years. And with the opening of Toy Story Land, the entrance has been moved right here inside the land. There's a whole new queue system for the ride, as well as the return of a favorite animatronic that's been missing for a little bit. Let's go take a look. So really the big addition to the queue here is this giant Midway Games playset box that the whole games came inside. So that is really, really cool. It's really well themed for the ride, setting you up for the story. And then you come in here to air conditioning. Hey, we love air conditioning in Florida. So as you can see, a lot of new murals, a lot of new prompts. Still that same classic feel that the old queue had, uh, just now expanded over here into the land. There's pop-outs of all the, uh, the what your scores and the, the symbols you get for how high you score. There's Etch-a-Sketch here, and guess who? Of course, it's Buzz Lightyear. That's awesome. So yeah, this looks really great. The expanded Toy Story Mania queue, new entrance. Same familiar look, a few new prompts, but the one returning element that a lot of people are excited about, including me, is Mr. Potato Head is back in his whole glorious form. Same kind of animatronic, same jokes. Really cool to have him back. Yes, he, m my presence has made him speechless. And so now here we are, we're making our way into the load area. This is part of the third track that was recently installed over the past couple years. New, uh, new soundstage next to the original version. Only one track here, but it's been a little while, so I'm gonna hop aboard and see how I do. All right, so here we go aboard Toy Story Mania. I love this classic ride. One of my favorites. Gotta get my glasses on because I know some of the tips and tricks for this ride. We're gonna see how high I can get my score. All right, all right, 24,500, not bad, not bad. There we go, whoa. All right, this one's hard to do by yourself. Oh, I did it, yes, ha ha. Woo! All right. It's not often I get the hidden part of that by myself, but did it. I like to open all of them first and then just go crazy. Ah! Woo! Ah. Oh man. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, best this hour. All right. I still got a long ways to go before I get that best this month one, but I'm very happy with how I did by myself. Toy Story Mania is such a fun, classic attraction. It's been here for a decade now. I can't believe that. You gotta come out here, ride it, learn those tips and tricks. It's a lot easier when you have someone with you.
All right, so when a new land opens at Disney, of course, there's bound to be merchandise galore. And we're here with Stephen Miller. It's always good to talk to you. Thanks. It's really good to see you again. Now, what kind of merch can we expect for Toy Story Land? Toys. I mean, it, the name <laughs> it, name lends itself to it. No, you know, I tell you, I love these toys. This is our yes. alien swirling saucer pullback toy. And our team worked with Walt Disney Imagineering to use the 3D models that they used to create the attraction vehicles. And we basically then shrunk that down to create a replica attraction. So it's two scale. Yeah, it's so then, you know, when you when you pull this back, he moves forward. That you know, like great. that. Three different styles that we have here, three different colors. You could we were racing them in the office. We had a <laughs> point out. The other one here is this. This is the Slinky Dog Dash and Dodge Power Boost set. Now, if you've been on the attraction, yes. there's a really cool moment within the attraction. And if you hit go here, he he, he launches, you know, and the, again, the attraction vehicle, the actual ride itself was inspired by those 3D models that the Imagineering team used. I am a sucker for ride vehicle merchandise, so I'm, those are definitely must-buys for me. What what kind of apparel is available? Well, you got to go with the headbands, you know, and because, I mean, everybody loves these headbands. Of course, we've had great mousier headbands, all different colors and styles, but this is Slinky Dog. I mean, we're in Toy Story Land after all, so again, Slinky Dog here, he moves, he has a lot of fun, and it's obviously, it's based on our characters you're going to find when you come visit our land. The other one here is a space alien headband. He lights up, his eyes move and, uh, back and forth, and again, tied to the Alien Swirling Saucers attraction. Apparel, we have some great opening season apparel, which means it's limited release. There's only going to be offered for a certain season. Great logo tees, great tank tops for both adults and kids as well. And we're going to be in two different carts here in Toy Story Land. Of course, we're in Andy's backyard, so this is the little people family uh, camper that you know has been turned into a merchandise cart. And we have also a toy dump truck uh, that's carrying a lot of the bricks and so forth and you know, blocks you're going to find here in Toy Story Land. And that also carries merchandise as well. What about magic bands? There is a magic band. Okay. It is a Slinky Dog magic band. It's blue. It's great. And again, you can use that magic band to also capture a photo on Slinky Dog Dash as well. So it is going to have an attraction photo that's tied to that. Oh, I can't wait. I got to come back here and, and get everything. It's, it's all on my to-do list. Steven, always good to talk to you. Really good to see you. So just like the rose petal souvenir glass from uh, the Be Our Guest area at Magic Kingdom, I think this one's going to be very popular. This is Toy Story Land with the claw inside of it. Everyone, you're having fun in Toy Story Land, but you're going to work up an appetite doing all that. So over at Woody's Lunchbox, they've got food that is basically available all day, different types of meals. And Jerry, what, what can guests find when they go up to the lunchbox? Well, yes, that is correct. Um, in Woody's Lunchbox, we do have meals from breakfast, lunch, and dinner time. We're excited, we're thrilled about it because it's a diverse menu. That's one of the things that definitely captures my attention, like for all little guests or even for the toys that are in, the, in this backyard. So, but let me talk to you about, uh, about some of our menu offerings that we have. So one of our, the favorites so far and has been the small uh, sandwich, toasted sandwich. We do have actually uh, a layer of marshmallows, uh, a layer of dark chocolate, and vanilla, and on top we do have a uh, crumble cracks. This is our uh, specialty breakfast bowl. So it has uh, potato barrels, scrambled eggs, it has a Texan brisket gravy on it, and with the green onions. So. It's another type of um, breakfast item, but very hot on that end to get ready to play big in Toy Story Land. These are delicious oven tarts. We have two, two lunchbox tarts in Andy's uh, Woody's Lunchbox. And this one right here is the raspberry tart. And it has raspberry in the inside. And as a topping, we do have dehydrated strawberries and raspberry. And the other one, and at least this one, if, if you allow me, this is my favorite one. It has a layer of maple, and it has as a topping chocolate and hazelnut. And not only that, it has, a, 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 in addition to it, caramelized bacon. So imagine that mixture right there. Oh, full of it. You said bacon, and I'm in love already. So that's breakfast. I'm, I'm over here for lunch offerings. I've already noticed I'm a huge grilled cheese fan. And is this a grilled cheese right here? Yes. This is our triple cheese uh, sandwich. And imagine that fusion of all three um, separated on them, really hot on that end. And not only that, but it comes with a side, in this case with tomato basil soup. You can use it as a dip in two. Well, this one is my favorite going into lunch and dinner time. This is, it. This is the, the Monte Cristo sandwich. It has a, a layer of turkey, a layer of ham, cheese, 
and one layer of raspberry. This one is the barbecue brisket melt sandwich. Okay. So it comes with the barbecue sauce, brisket, cheese, and pickles. It's very warm, and if you're ready for brisket, this is the sandwich for with the barbecue sauce. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Jerry over there was talking about these oven tarts and the bacon, maple, chocolate, hazelnut one I am already in love with. So, Sergio, can we talk a little bit about how to make this? Yeah, uh, we make them um, with, uh, it, it takes kind of a process. Mm -hmm. We put a dough in the bottom and then we put, we fill it up with chocolate uh, and hazelnut filling mm -hmm. and then we just top it up and with a fork we're just going around. Okay. These, these tarts are not uh, go through uh, machines or anybody else. We make it all by hand by our team. Uh, what we what you're going to do is just gonna finish them because you know you're better than anything to finish <laughs> up. I'm just gonna apply the glaze and okay. you finish the rest of it. How about that? That sounds great. Okay. So what you're going to do is just we got caramelized bacon. Uh -huh. We bake the bacon and then we just chop it, put some brown sugar and uh, put them in the oven again to crisp. Mm -hmm. So you can put some in there. Okay. So just kind of sprinkle a little bit on there. Yeah. And That's it. Add one right there. There we go. And then we have uh, caramel, caramel crisps. That's a cereal covered with uh, chocolate caramel. Okay. A little bit, even spread there. All right. Beautiful. And then we have uh, salt flakes. Okay. So we just put just a little pinch to make it taste like a caramel. Okay. Salted caramel and voila, you're done. Oh, all right. So. So then you're gonna have to try it. Then we gotta try this. Hmm. Now you can make it and eat it too, huh? This is delicious. When you taste it, it brings you back from when you were a kid and your mom oh, yeah. used to put all that, all that yummy lunch in your, in your box. You gotta try this. The oven tart. Woody's lunchbox. Toy Story Land. All right, so that is it from Toy Story Land here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It is now open. Slinky Dog Dash, Alien Swirling Saucers, the new Toy Story Mania queue, Woody's Launchbox. There is so much for you to explore in Andy's backyard. So come on out to the park and have fun.